What's going on, everybody? This is OmniX. We're back with more Dying Light 2. And guys, we're going to continue right where we left off. Lots of betrayals last episode. Let's continue forward and see what we're about to do now. All right, let's continue where we left off real quick. Uh, where are we anyway? Okay, this is not exactly where I had left off originally. I think they put me back a little bit. Um, okay, so that's where we need to, need to go. So we need to go meet with that dude. There's a howler there. Gosh. Please don't see me. If they see me, they'll be at start a damn chase, and I'll be like, ah! So aggravated. There we go. Right, we should be almost where we need to be at, it looks like. Anybody there? I've got a problem. Everyone always has a problem. Wait, is there something? To activate the windmill. The windmill's down again. But I have to continue. I'm sorry, guys. These are the people that I was seeing. That's where I started off last time. Okay, so let's keep going. He's literally right there. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, another one. Okay. The hell is that? Okay. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. They're gonna see us, they're gonna see us. Oh, I made it. Oh my, what is that? The hell is that? Is that an... Okay, I don't... Uh, I'm getting shot at. We gotta go. No stand around, let's keep going. We are on a mission here. Right. Let's keep climbing real quick. Let's go to the top. Come on. Move over. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Alright. And this is where we need to go. Let's go meet this I've guy real quick. Everything. Let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Take care of yourself, Pilgrim.
Alright guys, just gonna say, from here on out there will be no commentary, because I'm actually talking about the wedding I'm actually having with my fiancé currently, so we're discussing some plans right now as I record, so we're gonna get it going guys, and I apologize for the inconvenience with the commentary. Sophie, I'm, I'm looking for. I think we must. Oh, it's he our brave be. fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Uh, my throat's sore. Don't want you to catch anything. I'm on fucking touchable. The nastiest plagues can kiss my fucking ass! Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's coming, and he's gonna kick your dairy ears. <laughs> it looks like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. Then your hearts. Uh, Just the dish. I'm uh, That's what murderers get. Good. That's what murderers get. I'm free. You're a goddamn poet. Sometimes. Hey! You made. Deep bricks. And he's gonna kick your derriers. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went... Uh, she said... Uh, uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken that uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why? What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. 
because of those fucking tests. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. <coughs> If he lost something, you won't find it here. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn, and he led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There, on the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. <clears throat> I'm not gonna let some morons in the tower ruin our lives like this. For each of our guys, I'll kill five of them.
should take a look. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. I'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. I've got you now, motherfucker. 
Joker. How you like it now, Jackass? 
Got you now. Dock this. Get him. You're dead. I got something for you, jackass. Damn. Try this, motherfucker. Batter up. Take this. Surprise, motherfucker. Inside that water tower. Bravo, soldier. The Greenwood family. Any time of day, we. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run! Fast! Go now. No time to waste. A pilgrim in the bazaar? If I... I'll pray for you. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. I have to go, Hakon. I promise to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch.
Alright guys, this is where I'm going to stop the video for today. So, we are in the search for Sophie and see what happened at Tango Motel. I'm not sure what's going on, but we did take our first bandit camp and so far, you know, was it was pretty tough for a second. It wasn't too, I guess it wasn't too, too tough, but the lieutenant was pretty, it was a badass, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. So, yeah, I guess next episode we'll definitely see what went on here and see, I guess, save everyone, I guess, but we'll see what happens. Later, guys.